Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're back out here with the tree cutter, doing a little bit different, trying a little bit different configuration of cameras. I'm not really happy with that back camera, but we're going to try a different, little bit different orientation, see if we're getting some video out of that, and see how it works. Um, nothing big going on right now out here. Just letting it acquire satellites a little bit, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to kind of shoot out over the lake, do some maybe low-level flying. One of the things um, I get some folks griping, you know, hey, you're not up there soaring with the eagles. But one of the things I do is I like to get some of the um, closer in of the water. Uh, really has a nice effect, and I just like the looks of it, you know, as well as getting out there a little bit. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to experiment with a little bit of that do some flying back and forth here and so let's go ahead and let's arm it and uh, see what happens okay now one of the things and you'll notice that in the last video where I had the tree crash I'd like to bring it up like this I'd like to let it hover and that was an interesting, for some reason, this thing, man, when you give it a little up stick, it really goes up. That is not good. I am going to... That is not good, so... We had a problem with this again. I'm not sure why we're continually hitting that problem. Uh, but again, it's fared relatively well <laughs> for the impact. I'm not sure what, what's happening with that startup, why it's uh, being so erratic. Um, start up again. Whoa. I think uh, I think we got a problem there. I think we've got some maybe sand in one of the motors. That's one of the things about flying on the beach here. You do when you do flips like that, you get some sand in the motors, and uh, definitely shortens their lifespan. Uh, but I want to make sure. Yeah, this one. This one's got a bit of. problem. Might have to take it and blow it out if it doesn't. Let's uh, let's see what see what happens with it now. So I want to let the motors run up a little bit and see what happens. So I'm just going to let it, uh, I want to take it away from the tree a little bit. But you know, the one thing I got to say, you've seen in this video, in the last video too, about the abuse this has taken. This is really a resilient copter. Because I've really abused this one. Now, this is my first up air. And uh, this is the one where I damaged the gimbal and stuff and reworked it a little bit. And so, uh, you know, it's really, I think, done pretty well for all the crashing and stuff that I've done. I've totally disassembled this. I've totally reassembled this. I've reworked parts of it. And, you know, that's what I gotta say. For the money, it is a very interesting copter. So let's take it out a little bit. I wanna let it. I wanna yacht. I wanna bring it. I wanna keep it. I'm gonna risk it a little bit here. I wanna turn, I want it to go straight out from me. The one thing you gotta be careful at this low altitude over the water is it's going to wanna to dip towards the water. And so I'm just taking it out over top the water. And I'm gonna take it up a little bit because I'm a little bit over the water. 
So we're take it up. Notice that little little touch on the stick. How much it went up. Now it's coming back down. Now I'm gonna make sure. Now it's jumping way up there. Now it's coming back down, which is really making me nervous. So I'm just kind of watching it out there because I'm having to upstick it to kind of keep it some of the altitude. I do have a little bit of breeze that seems to have caught back on right now. Uh, but it seems to be getting some up and down action going on out there a little bit. So I want to bring it back towards me a little bit. Let's bring it back. And yeah, just bringing it back in. And I'll bring it back in a little bit more. I think uh, I think after the, after these couple of flights, this thing's going to have to see the workbench for a little bit. But I tell you what, for for around 300 bucks, I've really, really, really got my money out of this quadcopter. Um, I beat it up. I've torn it apart. I've rebuilt it. It's just been phenomenal. And let's shoot it up a little bit. And let's yaw it back around that way. And let's take it down this way. And then let's yaw it back around this way. Whoa! Hopefully you got that on video. And let's see, let's bring it back towards me. The braking on this isn't isn't really the best, so let's see. So let's bring this down. For some reason it just keeps wanting to jump up there like when it ran into that tree. Whoa, 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 that, that's uh, a little bit wacky. I wonder why it's, uh, it's acting a little bit strange. It's kind of wanting to come down. Let's walk over it, see how many batteries we have on this, how many battery lights. I think I'm down to one. It seems to be hanging pretty good right about there. So I'm not sure what the uh, issue was. I want to watch getting too close to it because it's acting a little bit crazy. I just wanted to do kind of another quick walk around it. Huh. So let's do a quick back out and then I'm just going to bring it back in. So it's kind of weird. The parallax, the parallax makes it look like it's heading into the drink. And now I should be bringing it back. Yeah, I want to bring it up a little bit. I want to bring it back towards me a little bit. It's making sure everything's clear on the beach. This crazy thing. So let's see. Now see, I didn't I didn't punch the throttle to make it go up. So let's yaw this again. Notice that crazy yaw. I think I think I might be having a problem with one of the motors on this, not responding or performing up with the rest of them, and it's overcompensating.
because notice that when I do that yaw like that, how it jumped up. I'm just kind of messing around with it, seeing uh, how it responds. So I want to bring this back. It's probably going to attempt to return to home pretty soon. The batteries are getting pretty low on it. Now I know a lot of you uh, had suggested that landing in the sand is bad, so I'm, I'm actually down. So. basically to do a, to do a grab landing like that. Now I'm a little bit nervous about doing this. Uh, not because I can't do it, but um, again, kids watching and everything attempt to do it. And a lot of time I've got my grandkids in the background, you don't see them. And I really don't want them running up thinking they can do that with this. But uh, it, this is, I, I must admit, I do agree with a lot of you out there that this is a better way to do it than actually landing it on the the sand itself. So anyways, we had another eventful crash start filled episode of the up air and so hey if you found it uh, interesting give it a thumbs up. I get my thumb out here give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget subscribe buttons coming up over there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you had for lunch and hey we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.